Hi, this is Ray Boom Boom Mancini, and you're watching RSR Video Email Bag Show with your host, Bad Brad. Now, at this point, Bad Brad wants me to say, forget about it, but I'm not going to say it because it's stupid. I mean, come on now. Brad, what are you doing? You think you're some half-assed wise guy or what? So I'm not saying it, okay? Forget about it. I'm not saying it. Hi, Fight fans. This is Steve Double S. Smoger. International Boxing Hall of Fame referee, class of 2015. And you are watching the RSR video email bag show with Bad Brad. Enjoy. This is Jesse Left Hook Cook, and you're watching the Ringside Report video email bag show with my good friend, Bad Brad Berkwit. Forget about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the RSR video email bag show on the Ringside Report web TV channel. Now, here's your host, the man with the fedora, the pinky ring, and the New York thing, Bad Brad Berkwit. Forget about it. Out of the tree of life, I just picked me a plum. You came along and everything started into hum. Good bet, the best is yet to come. Hey, folks, welcome back to another show. I want to welcome all our new subscribers. We picked up a couple more since the last show. I can't thank you enough. The word is spreading, folks, and we'll get to 1,300 sooner than you know. And when we do hit 1,300 subscribers, we're going to give away, <clears throat> excuse me, this great book, Welcome to the Big Time by Ernie. The Acorn Shavers. And it is autographed by the one and only the hardest hitting heavyweight in heavyweight history, Ernie the Acorn Shavers. And all you have to do, folks, is hit that button and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Now, if you want to be on my next show, send your questions in to Ringside Report 2014 at gmail.com. Again, that's Ringside Report 2014 at gmail.com. Com. Leave comments below. We've been getting quite a few comments. I always respond. Again, we can have a difference of opinion as long as you're respectful. Hey, I'm, I'm good to go with that. All right? I don't, you don't need to always agree with what I have to say. Even though it seems most people do. Forget about it. All right. Now, without further ado, forget about it. Let's get into your great questions tonight. And before we do, I want to send out a couple shout outs. Let me get these out the way. I was going to do it in the middle of the show. I'm going to do them now. Uh, you saw in the opening of my show, a couple of people that did show promos for me, and I greatly appreciate each and every one of them. My Paisan, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, the former WBA lightweight champion of the world. Thank you, Paisan. I appreciate it. And my other Paisan, Steve Double S Schmoger, who was the 2015 inductee to the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Top-notch referee. In fact, in my opinion, the best referee in boxing today. Double S. Thank you. I appreciate it. And last but not least, my main man in Missouri, part of the Four State franchise, Jesse. Left, left, left. Left. I threw them both because Deb's going to say, you know when you threw that punch on the camera, it was the opposite way. Left. Hook. Cook. Part of the Four State franchise. Did a great one. Jesse, he was worried about the promo. Man, you nailed it, dude. Nailed it. Not only did he nail it, he said forget about it. Like, Jesse, I think you got a little, about a quarter Italian in you, pal. And congratulations on your engagement to your beautiful girlfriend. I wish you the very best. So thank you everybody who's done promo so far for the RSR video email bag show. All right. Double forget about us all around to you guys. Now, without further ado, forget about it. Let's get into your great questions tonight. First up, Bad Brad. Love the show and this new thing on Ringside Report with the fantasy fights is fantastic. Hey, all credit to Dom Suave One. Wilson, he does them. He does great images. That's his baby. I, yeah, I found him. I'll take credit for finding him, but I won't take credit for his, his thing. It's gone. He picks great fights. And thank you. Spread the word. Man, 
I have a hard time on picking some of them in the poll. Yeah, me too. Forget about it. I wanted to ask you about your buddy, Vinny Paz. Okay. I've seen folks mention him in the ringside report form and wanted to see what fight do you think was his career best? What is he up to today besides for that great movie that came out for him last year? Thomas A. from White Plains, New York. Oh, Thomas A. from White Plains. Well, pal, I lived a little bit north. North White Plains, right uh, by the Kensico Dam, right before you got into Valhalla. So welcome to the show, pal. White Plains. I used to eat at uh, a couple places there, the diner there on Broadway. and used to work at Handelman's before it burned down. Yeah, Vinny Paz is my paisan. Great movie. It was called Bleed for This, which is on DVD now. Vinny will tell you on Twitter, pick it up and watch it. He is doing very well. The movie did well. He's doing a lot of speaking engagements. I hear from him from time to time. He'll IM me a video of something. He's always on the news. He's always being asked his opinion on an upcoming boxing match or whatever. He's still the Paz man. Vinny Paz. All right. He's doing great. All right. Now, his best fight was... 1991, when he won the WBA Junior Middleweight title against Gilbert DeLay. And I had a guy on Facebook argue with me. Gilbert DeLay was a, was nothing. I, he didn't say bum, but if he did, I would have went off on him because no fighter's a bum. Gilbert DeLay was a very accomplished fighter, very doggone good, tough fighter. And Vinny beat him. Sadly, he wasn't able to defend that title because he broke his neck, but he made that incredible comeback about 18 months, I think it was, later. But that was his greatest win, in my opinion. Gilbert DeLay, 1991. Can you believe that? I was only, what, two or three? Because, what, I'm a 22 now. Whatever. Times two and whatever. All right, Deb, I don't need you to rub it in. All right, Thomas, say that was a great question. Send them in any time. Next up, Bad Brad, brother, will you write about the Circus Act? I'm not even going to take up any of your time asking about that. I know you're an East Coast guy but I, and been out here in Oklahoma a few years and covered the four-state franchise like nobody else does in your post-fight shows. Well, thank you very much, but I appreciate that. Since I am a lover of all things heavyweight, I want to get your thoughts on Kenzie Morrison, Tommy's son, of course. I have to be honest. I am not sold on this kid and his level of competition is the equivalent of me fighting my mother-in-law. Oh, all right. That's a nice little zinger there. All right. Now, let's read the rest of your question. And let me be honest. My mother-in-law has a wicked right hand that is better than anyone's I have seen face Kenzie. Oh, all right, all right. He's up, pal. He's up. Royce S. from Bonita, Oklahoma. Well, Royce S., welcome to the show. You may know him personally. I don't know. All right, look, I never pull punches. I'm going to be honest. His level of competition is forget about it. All right? It's 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 absolutely a joke. His last fight, the guy's boobs. I had somebody send in a thing that I put in a fight report, a uh, fight result, that they said the only fear that Kenzie had was getting poked in the eye with one of the guy's boobs. Forget about it. It's what the, the guy at ringside said. He sent it to me on uh, Facebook, and I am. So I added it to the report, or to the fight result, I should say. No, his level of competition is not there. But I'm going to, let's be fair. The bad, he needs to step up, okay? And if he loses, he loses. And if he wins, he wins. Hey, it's going to happen. He's been with too many trainers. That's the bad. The good, because there's always usually some good. I've seen Kenzie when he was with, yeah, he was with my pal. Okay, but I'm not saying it because we're pals. Randy Rouse. When he was with Randy Rouse, Randy had him fighting the style that he is best at. That was on his feet, movement, working behind the jab. Him and Trey, his brother, which I'm sure you know, have completely different um ways that they fight, okay? Period. Period. Kenzie is a finesse fighter. Trey is power. We're going to get you out of there. Kenzie, from the couple fights I've seen with the various trainers, got away from that, okay? He needs to go back to that. He needs to work off the jab. Other thing, the bad, is his last two fights, from what I've seen, I wasn't there, but from pictures and videos, he looked like he was out of shape. Okay, now he got lucky that he was fighting very weak opposition. No bums, but very weak opposition where he didn't have to go a couple rounds or he might have got stopped or he might have got winded. But he, he's not hes not looking in great shape. And he's been in pretty decent shape in the past, but his shape lately, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know Kenzie that well. I mean, I know Kenzie, but I, mean, I don't really have any dealings with him that much. So I don't know what's going on in his personal life or all that. So please don't ask me that. And even if I did, I wouldn't put it out there. Now, here's the deal. He has... The skills. Does he have the temperament? I don't know. Okay? 
And the reason why I say I don't know if the mental was there is because his level of opposition is not getting stronger. And that may mean that his promoter, Tony Holden, uh, knows what we all know if you know anything about boxing is that if they really step him up, he's probably going to lose. I don't know that for a fact until he steps up. But the good is if he goes back to the style that Randy Rouse had him fighting at early in his career, he will be a much better fighter. Period. Okay? Roy says from Vanita, Oklahoma, I never pull punches. Okay? All right? With that said, we're going to take a short commercial hey, break. This is the man with the fedora, the pinky ring, and the New York thing. Forget about it. Bam, Brad Berkley. And I am the host of the RSR Video Email Bag Show on the Ringside Report Web TV channel. Now, if you want to advertise on my show, send your business inquiries to Ringside Report 2014 at gmail.com. Again, that's Ringside Report 2014 at gmail.com. Or if you're on Facebook and we're Facebook friends, you can send me an instant message or you can call the Ringside Report office at 703-517-2155. Forget so about it. Pat Cooper is an Italian comedian that was his guest in Atlantic City. We had dinner. Great guy. Tony Curtis over there. And then there's Frank Sinatra with my pal Ace Alanya, who uh, owned uh, the Italian trip. Are we going to do a history lesson on these pictures or are we going to shoot your video ad? Uh, excuse me. Did you not ask for a history lesson on these pictures? No. Oh, wrong person. Forget about it. That's right. We do have to shoot this book ad. Yeah. All right, folks. Here's the book. Boxing Interviews of a Lifetime by the man with the fedora, the pinky ring, and the New York thing. Forget about it. Man, Brad Berkwood. And if you want to pick up my book, go to authorhouse.com, which you will save a few fazools because you can buy it there wholesale, or you can pick it up at any retail outlet, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, online. Now, for the folks that always ask me, would I personally autograph your book? Yes, I will. Forget about it. All you have to do is pay postage and handling to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I will autograph your book with an inscription that you want or a description of what uh, I put in there. Either way, I'm going to take care of you. And for all the people that have supported me over the years and picked up the book, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, and as we always do, Forget about it. All right, folks, Bad we're now out. back. And if you went to... Uh, maybe you went out of state. Maybe you went to Coffeeville. Who the hell wants to go to Coffeeville? Coffeeville. Forget about it. And you forgot who I am. I'm the man with the fedora, the pinky ring, and the New York thing. Bad Brad Berkman. Forget about it. I was supposed to say to forget about it before my name. Ha! Whatever. Look at that. I caught myself. And this is the RSR Video Email Bag Show on the Ringside Report Web TV channel. Now, remember, when we hit 1,300 subscribers, and all you have to do is hit that button, hit that button, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We give away that autograph book from Ernie the Acorn Shavers from my personal boxing library. Again, if you want to be on my show, Ringside Report 2014 at gmail.com. That's Ringside Report 2014 for the bouncing ball at gmail.com now let's get to the remainder of your great questions tonight bad brad i saw in ringside report that anthony joshua is facing kubrick pulev who is a number who is number seven in the wba and number two in the ibf rankings does he have a shot against aj garrett b from london england well garrett b i know who you are pal welcome back to the show and yeah i saw that as well uh honestly He's lost one time, but his level of opposition hasn't been that great. He's had some decent wins, but nothing special. Got knocked out when he fought for the title. I think it was the IBF against um, Vladimir Klitschko a couple years back. I think it was 2014. Got stopped. I don't see him lasting five rounds with AJ. I think it's a, it's a fairly easy defense. I'd love to see AJ fight Deontay Wilder, even though I think he's going to starch him. But two champions. Let's unify this division, even though the Sanctioning organizations will play games with their mandatories, which half of them are jokes, and they'll probably strip them. But regardless, let's see him fight Deontay Wilder, and uh, then he reigns supreme. Even though I think he's better than Deontay Wilder, and he's, he's uh, ahead of him, he needs to beat Deontay Wilder and take his WBC strap. All right, there's your answer. Finally, last question goes to 
Bad Breath. I recently subscribed to your channel and no need to wait until you hit 13 unsubscribers to your channel. I'll take that sweet prize you're giving away on your show signed by Ernie Shavers. LOL. Well, I'm glad you're lol and with you don't know what that means. It means laughing out loud because you and about a thousand and whatever it is, 47, 48 subscribers are saying basically the same thing, pal. So stand in line and you got to wait, wait, wait till we hit 1300. I see you interviewed Ernie in your book, Box Interviews of a Lifetime. What was he like? Ron B. from Akron, Ohio. Well, you get the last question of the night, Ron B. First of all, Ernie Shavers is a pal of mine. We go back to 2000 when I first met him at a charity event in Washington, D.C. called Fight Night, Fight for the Children. Great guy. And you know what's amazing? He got that little squeaky voice, kind of like Mike Tyson. Let me see if I can get Tyson. <clears throat> I just said a little while ago. Let me see if I can get his voice. Hey, Wildman, it's Ludacris. It's Ludacris. Hey. Hey, Wildman, it's Ludacris. But I'm going to tell you, folks, if you don't sign up for Bad Brad's channel, I'm going to drive your nose into your brain. Okay? It's just ludicrous if you don't sign up. It's ludicrous. Now, Mike's got that little funny voice, right? And Artie Shaver's got that little squeaky voice. And two monsters in a ring. I mean, come on. Tyson is prime. Forget about it. Artie Shaver's, as I said, the hardest hitting heavyweight in heavyweight history. Interviewed him for my book. You're correct. One of my favorite personal interviews. I've been with him since when uh, uh, we got together a couple times since then. And I got to tell you, he's all what you see on the videos. He's an absolute sweetheart. Great guy. Hell of a fighter. If he didn't have stamina problems, he would have been a champ. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. What did Ali say? He hit him so hard, he shook his kinfolk in Africa. And uh, my paisan, James Cortilla, said, I think it was, I'm, maybe I'll have been a quote, he said, he hit so hard he turns goat piss into gasoline or something like that. He dropped quick and quick went timber face down. Sorry about that, Santino. Santino's off camera like, what the hell was that, Dad? Okay, so absolute great guy. If you ever meet him, go up to him and speak to him. He's always friendly with all his fans. All right, folks, one more time. Make sure you hit that button and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to the RSR, you, RSR Web TV channel. All right, and on that note, as we always do, that's another show in the can. Forget about it. And as Frank Sinatra say so eloquently, so long ago, the best is yet to come. Bad. Brad. Out.